So in this series, we're going to look at making payments with PayPal via PayPal's REST API. And of course, we're going to be doing this in PHP. We're going to pull down the dependency that we need to be able to do this. And the code from there is pretty straightforward. So the first thing that we're going to do is look at how this is actually going to work in this kind of system we're building. Uh, just to warn you, the code is going to be very procedural. Uh, this really just gives you an overview of how the payment process works rather than actually building it into your application. But once you do understand everything that we're going to look at in this series, it should be really easy to go and integrate this into your application. So we're going to be working with a kind of example application where we're not a member. We make a payment that transfers us to PayPal. We come back and once we've paid successfully, we're then a member. So in the database, if we look under the users table here that we've got, we've also got this transactions table that we're going to be using to log transactions. Uh, you can see that I've just got a username, email, and member field here. Uh, obviously, these are self-explanatory. Member will go from zero to one once we've paid and we've returned uh, to validate the payment. So here then, uh, it says at the moment I'm not a member. I'm going to go ahead and hit make a payment. That's going to, it's a little bit slow. We're using PayPal Sandbox to test this. So it is probably slower than it would be in a production environment when you're actually using a live version. Uh, you can see here we've got facilitators account test store. This just means that uh, we're using a uh, sort of facilitator account in order to test this. Um, and I can go ahead and log in with some credentials here. So I can log in with my email address and pop my password in, hit login. This again, this alex at codecourse.com, this is a test account that I've set up specifically on the sandbox with a test password. And once that's logged us in, you'll see a fake uh, address here as well, which is really cool. When we hit continue, then that's gonna return us back to the site to validate that payment. And uh, that should turn us into a uh, member. There we go. So we've got thanks payment complete. If we head over to the database now and refresh, you can see that member has changed to one and also a transaction here has been logged. If a user starts a transaction journey and doesn't finish it, complete will be set to zero. You don't have to do this, but it gives you a good idea of who has actually gone through the payment process and not completed it. So when we go back to the home page just here, uh, let's just change this. 8,000, you can see you are a member. So really the sort of uh, authentication side of this is, is faked. There's no actual authentication here. But again, once you've learned how to do this, you can integrate it into your own application. So there's a couple of things that you're going to need to be able to, uh, to, to, be able to follow this series. You're going to need Composer because we're going to be downloading the uh, PayPal PHP SDK, uh, and this is payment. Uh, this is a RESTful API that we're we're interacting with here, and you can see this on Packagist as well. You can see the versioning information, etc. We'll go through this though in the next part. You'll also need a PayPal developer account. If you already have a PayPal account, just Google for PayPal developers, and you'll be able to sign up, and you'll be able to create apps. Then, and we'll also be going through this in the next part as well. So, with that out of the way. In the next part, we'll look at how we need to set everything up in order to actually start writing the code.